Hello everybody and welcome back. Well this review is by request by someone named Richard. Hello Richard, hello, hello, how are you? Well this is uh, Pear Linux number six. I'm running this inside a virtual machine with the Ubuntu Unity as the host. So is this for newbies? Well we are going to find out. Pear Linux uh, 6 is basically a slice of Linux off the Ubuntu tree if you will, it's uh, based off Ubuntu, and this is running the standard, the current standard uh, GNOME shell or GNOME 3. So let's take a look and see if newbies can figure this out. I will say this, that the default wallpaper is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Well, speaking of wallpaper, let's right click. We have standard functions here. Uh, well, it looks like we have, one, we have eight uh, wallpapers, not a lot. Uh, what's this purple one here? That is, oh, I like that. That's actually pretty nice. Something different, huh? Cool. And let's try one more. Something with space. Uh, very nice. Not a lot of wallpapers, but the ones that I've seen so far look uh, nice. One thing I wish, I mean, I am I am right-handed. I wish the buttons here were to the right. But anyway, let me uh, escape out of that by clicking the X button. Uh, ig ignore the very top panel bar, by the way, and the very bottom. Okay, uh, let's see. This, I'm assuming it's uh, shutdown, power, system settings. That's fine. Chat accounts. Mute volume sound settings. I like the le very light color scheme, by the way. And your various sound configurations here. That's fine. All settings. This is something similar, uh, similar to the... Um, uh, control panel for uh, Windows 7. Alright, now it says time here. I haven't fully installed this. I'm assuming after a full install you will have the actual time. Alright, we have trash of course. Uh, install Pear Linux. I will not install this right now. This has the automatic uh, graphical install installer and it should be very easy to install. Launch me first. Okay, I'll bite. Let's double click that and see what we have. Welcome to the post install script, the Pear Linux 6, this script, blah, 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 we'll update there. Okay, basically what this is saying is if you are a newbie, or not for that matter, you should basically, <clears throat> excuse me, you should run this first to install the updates, basically the tweaking of your brand new system. Uh, yeah, I approve of this. If you are a newbie, this, this should be actually mandatory for any uh, new Linux based operating system especially if you are new to this so let me just get out of this okay that's all well and good well uh, so far so good let's see we have a nice little dock here this I believe is running Nautilus if you have no clue what that is it's basically similar to uh, it's a uh, this 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 a uh, folder <laughs> file manager lost my train of thought similar to when the windows explorer okay let me get out of that and you have your standard folders here shortcuts again very easy if you are coming from a windows environment should not be difficult at all whatsoever and you can make these smaller bigger okay let's exit out of that and it looks like it just crashed inside the virtual machine. Okay, fine. Let's get out of that. Let's reset the machine. I may have to uh, get back to the... Um, yeah, okay. Reboot now. And I'm not going to start this video over, guys. This is uh, what you see is... You know what I, what you see is what I have. So, back again. I don't know if fully installing this would uh, make any difference versus running this inside a virtual machine. But my machine is fully up to date, brand new virtual box, guest editions, everything is installed. It's not really looking good so far. But oh, what's this error? Uh, upgrade BIOS now. Nah, I'm not going to upgrade the BIOS.
Okay, well, let's try and continue where we left off, I hope. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Again, I haven't installed this or ran any updates that may solve the issue. I don't know, but just want to let you know it did crash inside a virtual box. Where were we? Okay, let's go to the launch pad. All right, this is the standard GNOME shell, and you can filter this all social. These are the applications, pieces of software that are installed by default. Firefox, very nice. Google Plus, Office. That's all, document viewer, really? No LibreOffice? Okay, I mean, you can install that. Seems a bit sparse, but easy to navigate uh, from what I can see. I believe this has the hot corner, yes. You can move your mouse cursor here to the corner, and uh, you can have uh, different uh, virtual desktops. Let me give you an example here. Let me click that. Click the launch pad, and Let's try, let's click the App Store. And if you go there and navigate your cursor to the left, you can see you have different desktop or activities here, environments. Uh, this will allow you to, I guess, allow you to be maybe a little bit more productive. It looks fine, it looks pretty slick. Uh, again, not too difficult. This is the App Store. Um, it's loading. Again, I have not installed this. Uh, this would be similar, I suppose, to the Ubuntu Software Center, where, where you can see uh, what you can download and what you have installed. I'm assuming the shortcuts here are Home, Repository, Upgrades, Uninstall, and Download. <laughs> okay, I just noticed there's a, a little red button here, which I'm assuming means exit. Okay, fine. Where were we? Uh, let's see, the Pair Browser Manager. Oh, okay, I've seen this before in Zorin. You have choice of what to install. Firefox installed by default. That's fine, you could also install Chrome. I actually tried Opera. Opera's pretty nice too. I'm not too big on Midori, just to let you know. All right, let's see. Uh, the Pair System Settings. Again, this is similar to the uh, control panel in Windows. We have the pair dock configuration. Okay, this is fine. This will let you configure the dock at the bottom, different looks, color setting. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep going here. Uh, let's see if anything sticks out. Then I won't go through all of this. You know, you can take a look at this, you know, power printer sound. Let's see if anything sticks out here. Appearance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, tweak. Pair Linux tweak. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, okay, this is... Um, this is something I believe to, what's it called, Ubuntu Tweak that will let you tweak your system after you install it. This is actually very helpful for uh, newbies. This gives me information about my system. Distribution Paralinux 606 Bartlett. Well, of course, it's a Bartlett Paralinux. Tweaks. Uh, admin and janitor. Let's go to Tweaks. I've used this before, something like this in Ubuntu. Let's go to, um, ah. Here we go. Being right-handed, I would prefer to have the uh, the control buttons, you know, the minimize, the close, maximize to the right. And by doing this, you can just click right, and everything would move to the right. This is after you install this, of course, and not running this inside a virtual machine. But this is extremely helpful for newbies, even if even if you are not a newbie. So this, I give this an A plus for the Paralinux team. Okay, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, well, um, is this for newbies? Uh, I would say so far, uh, yes. By having this simple little tweak system here makes it a lot more easier for a newbie to configure this. This uh, launch me first to get you started right after installing this is extremely uh, helpful. I mean, you should update your system even if this piece of software wasn't installed. So I will, if this is stable, I will recommend this. The fact that it, it crashed inside a virtual box after I uploaded my system completely is not a good sign. But if you guys uh, decide to try this on your own, uh, 
let me know if you are going to install this. Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe trying this with a full install inside a virtual box or running it off a USB stick, maybe it would not crash. But if you are going to install this, if you have a clean machine and, and you don't care what you install, go right ahead. If you have Windows 7, I would recommend that you install this, install this as a dual boot and not as a replacement. Not yet, based on that little hiccup inside the virtual, oh, there it happens again. All right, listen, let me just send it here. So as far as recommending it, I'm going to say maybe. You're seeing what I am seeing. Uh, maybe after fully install, installing this with the updates, it will not happen. But so far, it doesn't look good. But if and only if this operating system is stable, from what I've seen, yes, I would recommend this for newbies if and only if it is stable. And it is a big if. All right, listen, I hope it helps you guys out, but that's my take on Paralinux uh, 6. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see all of you sometime in the future.